let's build a conversational voice AI agent into our custom build app. So I'm going to build an app from scratch here with Lovable. We're going to connect an AI voice agent that we're going to customize to our own needs, depending on if you want to set up a customer service chat bot, a booking chat bot for your website, not only working in web applications, but it has audio, voice calling, voice messages, all these things here are combined into one platform and it's just a few steps that we need to do. Everything can just be configured inside the platform. We hook it up to our platform and our app and we're good to go. So let's just jump straight into it. I've opened up the Telnix website here, which is the one where we're going to use to build out our voice AI agent. If we scroll a bit further down, we can just start with act like seeing an example. They have very good high definition voice. Everything works end to end. It's very natural. And one of the cool things here that differentiates between the other ones is the latency. So they have crazy fast latency servers all over the world pretty much. So you won't run into problems with that. Usually if you want or if you're using voice AI agents, it takes a long time getting responses, understanding when you act like do interruptions and all that. It doesn't feel natural at all. You're talking with it. It starts to just go down some path. You interrupt it and then you just go down at that spiral pretty much. So here, let's just go in, talk to our agent. We're just going to allow it here and see if we can recognize my microphone. Hey, how are you? I'm here to help you today. How can I assist you? So you can see how fast I can just go in and interrupt it. It comes back with the response and so on as well. If you scroll a bit further down, less than 200 milliseconds latency. This works both in web apps. One of the other differentiators, you can set up phone numbers, all of these conversations can be done through messaging, voice, phone calling, all your customer support, both on your website, on your phone, everything can be hooked up to these voice AI agents and you can configure them in just a few minutes. So less than five minutes to build an intelligence voice AI agent. So let's just go straight into it. So we opened up the Telnex website here where we can set everything up, messaging, voice, numbers. You can buy the numbers, you can create the voice application. You can both use voice, messaging, hook it up here you just get a link or whatever you can drop it into your web app so first of all here let's go in and take a look at our the documentation so we can also just go in here we have developers you go inside the developer docs how to make a phone call how to send a message all these things here can be done through apis as well it's all api based and in one platform so programmable network cloud vpn global edge router so all these things here are handled and you can hook all of it up so if you go inside the guys tab you can see all the quick starts all the tutorials and so on they have available but it's pretty easy to get running so if you just want to have voice they have the apis we can have ai and speech text to speech speech to text all these things here and high definition natural voices this is the api documentation you can go and take a look at if you want to get into more details or want to set it up fully customizable on your own end so let's not just go inside our AI assistant tab. That's everything that we have to do. Let's hit start build. You can also import it from other providers. You can go with a blank template from scratch. You can use some of the templates. I usually just go with a template. Let's set up an appointment scheduler. So now when we created our AI assistant, we have our appointment scheduler. You can choose all these different models. You can show all the models available. You can use whatever. Right now, let's just use a very fast one. It's going to be very basic scheduling. So appointment scheduler agent, let's see here, you are Erika, appointment scheduler voice assistant for wellness partners, a multi-speciality health care clinic. So let's just redo this here for an encode, which is a AI and software consulting business. So the primary purpose is to efficiently schedule, confirm, reschedule, and cancel consultations. while providing clear information about service and ensuring a smooth booking experience. Sound friendly, these are all some of the personalities that will go into it. Speech characteristics, let's check that for you. Just a moment, I'll look out, conversational flow. There we go, I think the rest here looks pretty okay. They need some information about it. Access the record, access date of birth, you can go in and modify all these things here. It's probably not gonna be 100% perfect, but you definitely need to. So to confirm, you schedule an appointment for the root. So again, all these things here is just placeholders. The AI agents will be able to put it out. You can also 
add a variable. You can create your own er variables for the AI agent targets and all of those things. So thank you for calling and then code when it's actually just greeting it. This is Erica, your scheduling assistant. How may I help you today? That's pretty much everything that we need. You can add tools as well. So you can add webhooks, transfers, all these things here can be hooked up and also MCP servers. So say that you have a customer success chatbot on your website, you have data that you want to have access to, maybe you have an FAQ or something, you can also just paste the FAQ in here, but if you have specific data, then you can actually like hook up MCP servers. So these AI assistants has access to that information, could also just be MCP servers for the internet. So your AI assistant has internet access to go out there, find some information based on what AI assistant you're building. So this is pretty much everything that we need. We can set up the agent, we can set up the voice, so we can specify all the different providers. Telnex, they have the natural HD voices, which is pretty cool. Bunch of different voices available. You can use the transcription model, all these things here, all the models, best models out there can be chosen here. So this is a knowledge base. If you want to create like an FAQ or something that the AI assistant should know, we can get some insights calling so we can assign a number we can go in and add a number if you both want to support voice calling like just phone calling just have your ai system pick up the phone when somebody is calling your customer service everything is connected together you can set it up in here define everything for your ai assistant it doesn't only work in web apps most other providers out there it only works in your web app but this is used for both calling and messaging as well so calling messages we have pretty much just disable that. We can have a widget. So our widget, this is what we're going to integrate into our web app. You can test your assistant. You can see the voice latency as well. So for the calling here, let's go in and just set that up as well. What you can do is just, uh, let's save it. And let's go in and assign a number. So I'll show you how we can set up numbers as well. We can go in and buy numbers. We can choose a country. So if you're based out of the US, you can basically just choose that. SMS, emergency, voice, all these things here can be set up. HD voice. So right now we're just going to take voice. Type, let's just say local. So only local numbers are able to it. We have the area code. We have the city and all that. So area code. That, there we go. We search numbers. You can choose the numbers and then you can hook it up to your app as well. So then you can just buy the numbers. They will be available inside your AI assistant and you can hook it up. Then it's not only going to work in the web app, but it's also going to work when someone picks up the phone, calls your customer service in the exact same way as on your website. You can always go out to the front page and call your assistant or receive a call from your assistant to test out the, the flow. You can also have like appointment bookers. You can have salespeople reaching out to people with your AI assistant. You can have messages like sending up follow up messages to people after they have booked an appointment and all these, all these workflows can be set up, but also with your AI assistance in here. AI test MCP servers can be configured as well. Internet access is a pretty good one, but of course you don't want to have hallucinations, have your AI agents go out there and find information, which is not correct for your business. So definitely spend some time to build out the agent because it's very easy in here. So now we have our appointment scheduler. Let's just call it and then we're going to build out the website where we will integrate it into. Thank you for calling in Encode. This is Erica, your scheduling assistant. How may I help you today? Hey, I want to book an appointment for a consultation. I'd be happy to help you with scheduling. Let me get some information from you so we can find the right appointment. What type of appointment are you looking to schedule today? I'm looking for a software development consultation about a computer vision project that I'm um, doing. Do you have a specific consultant or team you'd like to meet with, or would you prefer the first available appointment? Just the first available appointment. Great. Have you worked with NNCode before, or will this be your first consultation with us? No, this is the first time. I've only heard good things about it uh, online, seeing the website and everything. For your first consultation, I'll need to collect some basic information. Could I have your full name and a phone number where we can reach you? So you can see how natural this is when we're calling a voice agent. And this will work if you pick up your phone, if you have the website. And it just took me a few minutes, even while talking a lot, you can just set up your appointment scheduler. Make sure to put in some effort into act like giving it the correct context, the description, the role, and all these things. 
But what we can do now, if if we just go inside our edit tab, we go inside our widget. Let's now enable it. So here we can see we have the embedded code. This is everything that we need. You just copy paste this one, drop it into your website, and we're good to go. If you're building with Lovable, as I'll show you in just a second, how we can build a full dedicated like front end, hook up our embedded code here for our AI assistant widget, and we're good to go. So this is a preview. Let's chat. It will open up the same chat interface as we just had before. Thank you for and calling right. in. And this is pretty much the widget that's going to pop up in your website. So this is the configuration. You can have dark theme, light theme, agent thinking text, positions where you want to have it collapsed, expanded. So again, you can customize all these settings directly and then it will update it and it will show you the preview of your widget as well. So let's grab this widget. That's everything that we need. You can go in and see the conversation history, advanced. You can always test it out. But now we have our full AI agent. Let's go inside Lovable. I have a tool here where it's just doing transcriptions when I'm setting up some quick stuff. So let's just build out a single sales page for a software consulting business. So I want to build out a single page front end for my AI and com computer vision software consulting business. We're providing services doing computer vision projects, AI integrations, AI, AI agents, and all of that. You have full flexibility, creativity to come up with the best solution. And then I'll just write the name here. There we go. Let's hit go and it will act like start build out our front end. There's different tools available out there. You can use your own website. Here we can see the code. The only thing that you need to do is just take your widget and import it. You can use all different website providers and so on to build it as well. And most of them have easy configuration where you can just hit add widget, you drop in the better code and it will integrate it automatically based on the settings. So we'll probably just take a second here for it to create a modern professional single page website for NN code. And then we'll integrate our widget. So we can already prepare that one while it's generating. So let's go back to our Telnex app. We grab this code. We go back here. So I want to add this widget to my website. And remember, this will both use if you have phone numbers connected to your app directly. Once you have bought it, you have connected it to the app. It's just a few clicks as well. Then once you call your agent, it will answer, interact with the person in the exact same way here in the web app. Same latency, servers all over, all the processing is happening near where your website is. And also the different phone numbers. And there we have it. I just added these two prompts. We have the first prompt, building the website. We have embed our widget. That's everything. I'll add Altelnix AI agent widget to your website. That's everything. I've opened up the full website here that it has come up with. NN code AI and computer vision consulting. I'll explore our services and get in touch. We see our services here, computer vision, AI integration, AI agents, custom solutions. This is looking like a pretty good first iteration sales page. And again, you can always just do a few multiple iterations, but look at this two prompts. So let's not just go down and test out the chat here. Thank you for calling in and code. This is Erica, your scheduling assistant. How may I help you today? I want to build a new computer vision project and I'm looking for a consultation. I'd be happy to help you with scheduling a consultation for your computer vision project. Let me get some information from you so we can find the right appointment. What type of appointment are you looking to schedule today? For example, are you looking for an initial consultation, a follow-up, or a specific type of service related to your computer vision project? No, this is my first uh, consultation with NN Code. For your first consultation with NN Code, I'll need to collect some basic information to schedule your appointment. Could I have your full name and a phone number where we can reach you? This information will help us set up your initial consultation and contact you if needed. Thank you, Nikolai Nielsen. Let me check our availability for your first consultation. I see that we have availability with our lead AI consultant, Dr. Sarah Chen, on Wednesday, February 15th at 2.30 p.m., or with our senior software architect, Michael Rodriguez, on Thursday, February 16th at 10 a.m. 
Would either of these times work for you? Or would you prefer to see a different specialist? I think it's best to, to talk with the senior software architect. Great choice, Nikolai. I've reserved your initial consultation with Michael Rodriguez, our senior software architect, on Thursday, February 16th at 10 a.m. Since this is your first visit, please arrive 15 minutes early to complete any necessary paperwork. Be sure to bring a list of any specific requirements or goals you have for your computer vision project so we can make the most of your consultation time. Would you like to receive a reminder call or text message before your appointment? Yes, please do call me one day before my appointment just to make sure everything is good to go. Perfect, Nikolai. I've set up a reminder call for you one day before your appointment on Thursday, February 16th at 10 a.m. with Michael Rodriguez. To confirm, you're scheduled for an initial consultation with Michael Rodriguez, our senior software architect, on Thursday, February 16th at 10 a.m. We'll contact you the day before to confirm all the details. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Are there other people that can help me out? Yes, Nikolai. We have several experts at NN Code uh, who can assist I'm, I'm with different... For, I'm looking for help with the... Uh, an AI project as well. I understand now, Nikolai. So you can pretty much see here how natural it is, even when I'm just interrupting it here at the end. You can see it just instantly catches that I'm interrupting it. You can see it does the transcription live in the chat as well. You can both use the chat, you can use the voice. You will get the responses back, you can call it, it will have the exact same behavior. This is a pretty cool one page consulting, like sales page for new business. This is how easy you can set up new businesses, new websites. Like there's no excuses out there. It takes a few prompts, do some iterations on it for the services that you're doing or the side projects that you're working on and then integrate this cool chat and AI assistant. You can hook up your data. We're going to create more videos where we're going to hook up NTP servers, our own data and basically just build out these AI assistants here to become the best out there and actually like provide customer service. Hope you learned on this video here. Everything will be down in the description. Go check it out. It's so easy to spin up. If you don't do any talking at all, you can just go in, Lovable, any other platform. You can use your own website as well, embed the widget, set it up with Tilnix, spend 15 minutes there, build your website, hook it up together. It's so crazy that we can do all these things here so fast. Hope you learned a ton. Hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy building.